I like to start early, I like to start at sunrise. I mean, if you've ever seen a striped bass tail slap a live bait, that first light bite can be the best bite of the day. My name's Captain Mike Roy. I'm a former school teacher. Started guiding part-time when I was teaching. About four years ago, I decided to, to quit teaching and pursue guiding full-time. I fish out of Old Saber, Connecticut. We have about eight months season. I do over 200 trips, April 1st through late November. It's right at the mouth of the Connecticut River. It's the largest river in New England. Uh, it really supports a diverse fishery. There's a tremendous amount of bait in the river. Bunker, herring, we have big bait and small bait. Mega imaging on my Solix train has been one of the biggest difference makers for me in terms of finding bait. Rather than just looking for fish flipping on the surface, I'm using my mega imaging to find bait that you would not know was there otherwise. Having the freshest bait is critical to you know, being able to produce fish day in and day out. Here in New England, we have uh, really diverse weather. There's days where there's ice on the deck of the boat, and then you could be fishing in flat, calm conditions. We have uh, nor'easters, strong winds, uh, so we definitely fish in a, a diverse range of conditions. Stripers are, I think, one of the most elusive game fish from Maine to North Carolina. They're a finicky fish. Some days they can be incredibly easy to catch, like a light switch, incredibly difficult to catch. What's amazing is how many times I'm able to mark fish that simply aren't biting. Sometimes, uh, you know, you gotta have some tricks up your sleeve to, to get them to bite. Having the bait rigged a certain way, uh, changing where the bait is in the water column, uh, changing the drift speed, um, changing the way you're presenting the bait or lure. Sometimes these minute details can make a difference between catching fish during these slow periods and not. Being able to spot lock, that's huge. That's one of the biggest advantages. Um, I never use an anchor. A lot of days the wind is just too strong, the current's too strong. Being a full-time guide means that I need to be able to fish in any condition, and I just wouldn't be able to do it without the Altera. There is an art to using the electronics. Guys start talking to me, asking me if I see anything, and I just sit there and, no, not much going on. A couple small ones. And we're sitting over a school of several hundred striped bass. Being able to, to use the technology and understand how to use it is, is a really critical component. I'm one of the busiest guys in the Northeast doing over 200 trips in eight months. My Altera and my Solux allows me to find fish faster and stay on them longer, period. 